lift them out, it'll pull us up. So lift them out very slowly if you see the camera moving around. I'm uh, jerking us around. Here, yeah, you're moving the RV. So first thing you want to grab is this. Yes. Okay. Go into um, sample. Hit, hit uh, one on your bubble cap. We all one. Uh, sorry, hit three. Yes. And then, uh, yeah, pick one up first. You don't need the sample solver yeah, till we swing around. I don't around. think I need. I don't think I need it. We'll hit it when you swing around. Yeah. So Can we uh, go wide. There's pull pull wide. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna do it on the inside of this rope. Okay. I would advise on the inside of the rope. Yeah, that's where you are. It's perfect. This is quite lobster, not a crab. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, attack! Wow. Attack! He's not happy about this. This a pull pin here, is it? Looks yeah. like it. Set it on the set it on the platform behind the and now to grab this bottle. Um can we just hold on one second? Maybe get um can we zoom in right here on this? Sure. Go ahead. In. Coming in. About there? Yeah. Let's just have a look. So these are the what you see here are the handles for them? these things yeah so we want to lift it up yeah okay good I'm gonna grab that orange tape uh, not the orange tape oh, the, one this one. the right oh the one so. right there. okay gotcha the white one the one yeah the orange the tape star. is actually connected to the platform it would be nice if you Coming zoom out, out so we can see that there yeah sorry holding there a little more don't you see both? Get controls. a little better grab on it, Danny. That's a way into it. Oh, that seems. Get a little better grab on it, please. Okay. Yeah. The yeah, ideally we drone drop these in the mud. The end of the jaws, sir. Uh, yeah, that's a little better. Then you can take a half twist and jaw lock your jaws. Jaw lock. Okay. Coming out, full full wide. Yeah, that's good. Beauty, nicely done. Okay. Bring the box out. Put it in the box. Box is coming out. Sample tray out. And sample salvo. So the Lounge can all see what you're doing now when you do this. It changes the screens everywhere on the vessel. <laughs> Ed and his master. <laughs> you think you're just doing something here. You're not. Oh well, no, I'm performing for a worldwide audience. You are. Speaking of which, uh, Dylan's one of our STEM C's. So see how now when you come around, you have a five function. You're pitching your yar hard over. Something to uh, think about if we get to doing uh, more sensitive stuff like core tubes back there. We're showing this on the quad view on the set V3. See the starboard side of the vehicle. Let's work, Danny. So uh, Dylan, one of the STEM C students, is watching at home. So uh, one of the gotchas when you swing back around, make sure your arm's still up high, especially if we're uphill or something, yeah. but not too high or you'll swing into the bumper bar. So I look at my shoulder when I'm, I look at my arm yep. going out and then where the shoulder is. Um, my DVL okay. is driving off for no reason. No particular reason. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> it's driving it's away. in the mud. 
If we can uh, get a zoomed in view of those last two. Um, sure. Sure. And before we pick them up. No problem. Stand by. Coming in. Holding there. Okay. Well, that looks good. All right, we can pick up the next one. Coming out. And then after that, the next one. It's in front of you there too, Danny, if you want. Pull full wide. Oh, beautiful. I've already got the angle here though. Do I have to pull a pin on this one? Or? No, this one should just break. Okay. In theory. Can I get a uh, zoom in there, Ed? Yeah. I'll come in with you. I think Beautiful. we decided that uh, pins aren't necessary on all of them. Coming out with you. That a mess of rope. Like a wrist rotator. So oh, while you're while you're there, Danny, nice. swing right just a little bit, and then uh, keeping. So right now you're like this. Yeah. So if you pitch up and yaw right, then when you come around, yeah, you see what I'm talking about. Yep. Yeah. So you're trying to stab. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'll be in the right position when I get around to the exactly. box. Exactly. And when you do that with a, uh, when you do that with um, the push cores, you got to spin the wrist as you do that as well. Otherwise, yes. you'll turn the push core upside down. It's kind of painful. On Very doing. used to that with uh, the vehicle I currently use. Yeah, but that you don't have that functionality with the Orion. Right? Back row, uh, what are we doing after this sample situation? We're supposed to sample some uh, animals, but we're not we're almost positive that we are not going to find them here. Some um, alveolid polychaetes. We have a collaboration with a colleague in China. Now we're doing some uh, barcoding of some of this uh, polycate worms. But half the fun, Fabio, is looking for them. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> but we saw some interesting. We are an exploration vessel. Is it exactly. today is International Polychaete Day? <laughs> so the reason I'm asking is just for Atalanta placement. Um, if we need to get back to the node area and JB, you'll have to. Oh, you have back. to pull straight up. Otherwise, that zip tie is going to be too strong for this. Perfect. Um, I think if you do a wrist rotate, you'll get a better grip. So yeah, so I mean, it would be nice to know from to the, the ship's side. perspective what the yeah. weather's doing yeah. and what our timelines are for recovery. Good habit to keep your jaws so parallel with the ground. Uh, yeah. I will go touch base and come back. Or where can we find that information? There you go. The okay. safety twist. Yep. Yep. Coming around. Sure, sure. Hey, yeah, Ed, zoom yep. in on uh, something, something here. Yeah, you want to hit sample for him? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Fuck. What am I zooming on? I don't know. How about that? Can we Wait. zoom in? I think uh, those three yeah. uh, triad uh, canisters are sort of the replicates that they're doing. So oh, uh, each you year, close up with those? yeah, close up on each of the three, like this tree, and then the the tree in the back, and then the other tree in the opposite corner. Right there's a uh, lower left three. Just Zoom so you guys it. know, these are simulating the conditions for uh, eventually uh, those over, for you? storage of nuclear waste. Um, so we're testing. So the rope's not any corrosion out. effects on this canisters. Right. For nuclear waste, is that what you said? Can you bump me up yeah, to wow. the upper left three? I'll be frame. Thank you. Sorry, bit of an yeah. overzealous bump. Kind of want to get this right. I hate this. Yeah, not much I can do about that. And then, uh, I tipped the whole canister over. 
We'll get the other one for you here in a second. Is that what you want me to do? You want the next three in? Uh, let me close it. Think, are we recovering all of them or just three? No, just, just three. three. This yeah. next year, three more, and the following year, three more. Right. It's just like they're look at the delta. checking the... Let me close it. See, if the ropes go in, then I'm happy. If they're hanging out. I'm okay. Temporal effect of Spend corrosion on those focus. canisters. And come back out. Yeah, we should be good there. Is that sufficient there? What are those canisters made out of? Cardboard. <laughs> they are highly compacted bentonite. Oh. Huh. Okay. Uh, Copper-coated. Copper Hopeful white. Uh, let me see here. Basically mud. Copper-coated so steel container. We just picked up 75 pounds. How much are the steel weights on the front there? 25. Grab, grab a, so are you all right if we leave the two of the steel weights there? Can we maybe fly off a little bit away from Can't this hear you. thing uh, and do it? Cannot hear you back there. Best case, we don't leave them right next to this experiment and kind of, right. if we can kind of drop them closer to the node. If yeah. you can fly with them. Uh, well, that's one way to find out. We've got 3,000 PSI. Uh, if we're going back to the node, I need to kind of reposition here. Okay. Yeah, you can move. We are going back to the node, right? Yeah, we're going to go back in that direction, and we'll drop these weights there, and then we can recover them later when we bring the instrument platform back up. Okay. So, because uh, we overshot. <laughs> we did not. I needed, we did. Oh, I needed 50 meters of tether. How come you didn't move like five minutes ago? Well, <laughs> we're doing still over there. Adelant is still moving. <laughs> All right, he wants the Snickers egg back now. Randy is usually like oh, five steps ahead of the whole game. Right now. From 25 to so? 95. Bridge now. So uh, you're not concerned about sediment now because I'll obviously have to uh, thrust uh, up to get out of here. Yeah, that's, that's okay. You can, if you can, come up and back or whatever you have to do. Just to confirm back row, once we leave here, we don't need to come Blast back. off. Check no, out we're, that blast off. We're not coming back <laughs> in this direction. Okay, Roger. Oh, that really makes me feel good. <laughs> Can we, uh, <laughs> so just, just hang out here before we do this ship move. Uh, we'll just wait for some of the sediment to settle, and then if we can just take the ROV and just dust off what we've just done. What? Sorry, sorry. What was that, Dirk? Did you do a ship move? Already? Yes, I, I just called in the ship move. Can you say that again? Um, can we stop that ship move? So with that amount of sediment, it might be. I just want to fly over it one time and try and dust it off. Just if it's light stuff on the surface. So we'll just hang out here for a little bit. Oh, okay. It'll it'll be quite a bit of time for hit, that ship hit move, one on but the, I can pause. Hit one on want. the bubble cam. It'll be a few minutes for the ship move. Or you wanna you wanna hang for longer than that? Probably longer Sorry, than that. Sorry, yeah. wrong okay. button. Bridge now. <laughs> uh hold position. Can you guys stand by for one second? So Dirk, did you but I can still move closer to the node, it's not gonna pull Hercules yeah, off. Yeah, you can move, Randy, you can move. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll still give you a leash. It'll be a fine. I'll go. It's going to take forever, so yeah. you can do what you need to do. Okay, Raj, 25300. Zero, zero. Next up for this dive while we're kind of waiting around is uh, we are going to go and try and find some plume worms. So it's going to be quite, a, um, quite an expedition. And Fabio will take it from here, trying to direct you after we've done this flyover. over. Dirk, can you say again? I was talk, talking to the bridge at the moment. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay, so we're going to hang out here for a little bit, yep. wait for some of this dust to settle. Yep. We'll do a fly over the experiment to get some of the um, fine stuff off of there. Roger. And then we will d return to the direction of the node, and then our next objective after we fall first at the node, we have to drop these weights. And then once we do that, we um, will go look for some plume worms after that. So Roger. Uh, 
I don't know if you understand what's going on here, but I have to, uh, you know. Oh, the reason the plume <laughs> thrust up to keep the ROV from augering yeah, into just the seabed. So the longer I sit here and thrust up, the more dust I'm gonna stir up. Because of the weight. <laughs> yeah. Can you go at a higher altitude? Yeah, but as soon as I come back down, I'm gonna have to full vertical up to. Yeah. So don't just I'll just sit at a higher altitude. What's that tell you? Well, but he's... That dust will be there for hours. <coughs> that was pretty cool, though. <laughs> the liftoff. I did warn him. <coughs> okay. Fabio is... <laughs> Making more dust as we speak, even from five meters. Okay, so... Propellers. Let's get out of this area and maybe we'll come back at the end and do this again. Roger. <laughs> okay. Ship's on the move, but Adelante is not yet. And that is direct, directly to the node. You're on the way straight off. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's that? Another platform. And then the node. It's okay. We'll just dust it for them. <laughs> by that, you mean put dust on it, right? Yeah. Sure. Well, it's already covered in dust. It's not. It's not a lot of dust, Dirk. If it makes you, it's really fine particulate. It's not like it's going to be an inch of dust on the thing. Okay, where would you like the weights? You get one chance. Right on top. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Meanwhile, I'm making a giant dust cloud behind me. Might start to get tugged. Okay. Hercules is coming in for a crash landing. This looks like a good spot. I'm gonna go set it over here with all the By other. the way, for dead reckoning, I had that from the node is Any 31 is meters at one five. Turn your auto head off. Five. Do you have that, um, Ulrike? Copy that, Dad. He can give yeah, you a dead reckoning off. from the node. The dead reckoning from the node to the experiment I have is 31 meters at one five five. I can, I'll, I'll write that down. 31 meters. Yeah, five yeah five. roger. And you, any rock that you can find around here is suitable for those weights. You can even drop them from the air. You don't have to place them as long as it's not on a cable. Okay, Danny. Pull them off there. You're just going to drop them? Yeah. As long as you're not close to any cables. If you're close to a cable, we can land and place them, but... Like, we, like we've said, makes a lot of dust. Come on, Matt. Just, uh, maybe as long as, maybe we back away from those just a little bit. I don't see anything underneath us, but... There's that cable. That cable right there, yeah. It's clear right here, Dan. Yeah, drop it. Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> next one. Okay, let's not do it so close on the next one. I'm There's just a one little more worried about planning. it. Okay. We can go lower down or something so it doesn't swing so much. Oh, we can go lower. Yeah, there we go. Putting us back on comms. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, pull it off there. See. Do you want to target for those weights data? Um, yes. <laughs> well, Ricky, yeah, we might have to go back I'll write this down. Later. Ready?
close. Uh, Mangoes try and pick up that beanbag light. The Magnum. The Magnum. Close the jaw on the Magnum and pick up the beanbag. Any targets on the sonar for structures? Well, I'll give us a second. We gotta get rid of one more weight here. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. There's a cable there. I see it. We're gonna. You want us to hold your cable down or set it next to the cable? Okay, let it go. Bombs away. Beat bag. Okay, you can stow that beast. Uh -huh. Okay, Fabio, we're all yours, buddy. Yeah. Although it'd be nice to see some hydrothermal. Where are these? At least substrate, yeah. Supposed hydrothermal off to the uh, west, south. Yeah, so since we're kind of exploring, um, we can look at any kind of information on that nav screen and see whether there's kind of an outcrop or something that could be hydrothermal vents and we can head over in that direction. So you want to look for vents that we that are we don't know are here, is that correct? We're kind of exploring, yeah. Exploring, okay. So west, I think, is where it gets rockier, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or unless I'm, on a, I'm, I'm all twisted up. What's that? Skate? Yeah, west is towards the, Ooh, yeah, the ridge. Skate. Do you want me to move the ship west and sure. explore that area? Yeah. Okay. Look at him. Five zero yeah, meters west. These guys use their claspers on the back Bridge to now. kind of walk off the bottom on the bottom when they're not using their pin shape. Five zero meter step west. You want to tell them what those things on the back really are? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I just dusted it. Sorry, skate. I was referring to. Hold on. Hey, buddy, can uh, you show us where the thermal vents these are? These guys right in sure. here, they'll push off the bottom with those. Oh, with his backpacks? It yep. looks like there's a broad nose skate. Broad skate. Ambla Raja. Ambli Raja Bajja. Okay, then you can uh, kick your auto back on and uh, come around uh, port side, maybe. I need to dial my AC bias back in. I'm looking like a Come back in at 315-ish. Mm, yeah, whatever way the boat's going. Yep, we are going west. Skate friend here is going to lead us straight to a hydrothermal vent. Oh, look at that. Nice smack in the middle. <laughs> okay, I'll stop harassing her. Thanks, skate friend. Is that ready? Rock here. Than earlier. <laughs> yeah, it's quite the transition from where that experiment was to here, hey? Are we looking for like diffuse flow? That's a good holoturian. Take some pictures. I want we don't have that identification yet. You want a closer look at him? Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, go ahead and snap it in. There you go. A little tight there. Coming down a little bit. Something like that. A little wider. Uh, I'm bouncing. Uh, what am I doing? Cold? Yeah, come cold. down, come down uh, nice. seven meters, Danny. Turn down seven meters. I'm out wanting to get that established. I gotta get in.
in the science mode here. Give me a second to get the... Copy. I'm going to go Oprahoid race right down there. So if you get this machine dialed in, usually somewhere around 30 when we're ballasted. Excellent. <coughs> um, it's holding its step now, so there's no autos on. I'm not touching the sticks. And, and you just have a small amount of Z-bias in? Yeah, so I'm watching my vertical velocity or watching the pitcher, and now we can get those tight zooms if I take my hands off the controls. <laughs> and then it zooms in. <laughs> now that we can take our hands off the controls. Now that we can, yeah. So we'll just try that. So, and if then typically when we're in kind of this mode, I'm down in, you know, 65% or so. So the video's nice and smooth. And I'm, you know, usually not moving more than. I'm not zooming around like I just was there. Oh, yeah. And I have the camera racked all the way out, and I'll tilt it all the way down just so we don't see the any of the business on the front of the vehicle there. So you can get those... Beautiful cinematic views. Yeah. And then if it's being nice, it'll, for example, zoom in nice and slow on that guy and I typically will let go of it and then I'll make some very small heading or you know. And you'd basically fly by the bubble cam? No. Because you use, can use that, that as, as a reference. reference. But what I try not to do is run over it because then I can't back up because then it'll be immediate dust cloud as soon yeah. as I pull back at all. So when you zoom in Best map. I have I'll turn the lasers on. And back out. Uh, Holding there. Yeah. Make it uh, quite a frame if you want. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no, I was so I was just trying to show Danny. So when he zooms in, see how the lasers go on the top of the picture? Yep. So what we call a laser Definitely zoom. We push in but keep the lasers in the view. And as he zooms in, if you zoom in just a little more, yep. where the I lasers are still in. Right there. Oh, yeah. look at so we call that a laser zoom. So you get that pop detail if you're below about 1.6 meters altitude, assuming you're on a flat surface. And <clears throat> if I let go of it, it's going to drift out of the picture, but it's not all jerky around. So now I can make very small correction to... And this uh, looks like either a different species or a different picture. gender than the one that was several meters back. Or it could be juvenile, hard to tell. Uh, we can do all that without you know, landing and sticking, as soon as we land and stick the vehicle in the mud, then we're dragging stuff around, so. Yeah. Okay. Coming out. While they're waiting, the ship, ship move. Yeah, let's head west. Heading west. Pull wide and a bump yeah. back in. So. Let us, Rennie, tell the us. The one thing with the C bias on, we are thrusting down, so if I find it getting a little low, I'll pull back a little, which is a bad habit, but I'm um, just, Doing less C bias. How's it looking, Rennie? Or I'll just uh, use this four and dial it back to like the next like or so. four or five, six hours. Oh, okay. You're looking at my screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got gotcha. Yeah, I mean it picks up uh, overnight, certainly. Um, Starting about what time? And in this uh, hunting mode, I'm watching that sonar, looking sort of nowish. <laughs> what are we looking for? So we're already up to 22 knots. So if you oh, bring uh, Atlanta around. So for in terms of navigation, um, that's a really big. Is that a sea pig? I think our best. Yeah, that's a big one, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I guess Panikia, I think. I think our best chance of finding something would be to just be doing like a, like a, a rather transect. Push brisk there, transect bit. along yeah. the bottom. Roger. It, in a direction that looks like it's kind of getting more lumpy on your holding bathymetry there. Uh, okay. Well then, like this way maybe. Looks like we have a target right here. Like, as you zoom out further, is there anything interesting? I, I lose the high res map. Oh, you do. Okay, uh, yeah, maybe. So it's kind of. I mean, I, I honestly, it's probably pretty dissimilar. All pretty random. And yeah. then, and then it's not until. Um, it's not until quite farther west that How about we get to the crazy, yeah. the ridge. 
Yeah, yeah we're way off from we're the way off site. Yeah. yeah, it's quite far. Even the going the other opposite way might be better. Okay, well, I think we're going to go right. Yeah, do that, that ridge out. right there. How far south is that? East, um, uh, this one? Southeast. So yeah, you southeast. Yeah, so that's 900 meters. To, uh, keep yeah, maybe that's, a, that's not bad. Center of the, or 500 meters. 900. Of the yeah. Of the yeah. Um, can we work our way in that direction? Yeah, I mean, we can go. We could go 0.7 on the bottom if the pilots are okay with that. If you're talking about a brief... We yeah, we don't have much time to stop and look at stuff if you're trying to get there. Yeah, uh -huh. we're just trying um, to get there. If you want to get a bit slower, we can do 0.5 and it'll still be, you know. Well, then we're going to do our official bottom transect. We can actually set up the. Yeah, that would be half a knot max. Yeah. The transect. Well, that's so fine. Half let's a knot do half a knot and we'll go in, in that hour. direction. Yeah. Um, and do you. So, what are we talking about for recovery time with everything kind of coming up? weather coming up yeah so we're gonna get a final confirmation um, once Megan comes up here Roger but in the meantime we're just gonna try and see some stuff and hopefully find some of these plume worms so we can collect them okay I'll go to this ridge right here 900 meters 152 and we're gonna set up for a transect copy because right now point five here. with the weather as it is there's no opportunity for us to dive anywhere else so we're just maximizing kind of the ROV bottom time by Roger, yeah. Bridge, nav. That's good. Uh, we'd like to track a line 900 zero zero meters, 900 yeah. meters, um, bearing bring 152. Your bring your head into 152. 152? Roger, speed 0 0.5. Yeah, coming around the 152. One, 150. Yep. Uh, yes, if that works. Dan, are you doing auto, auto altitude for the transect? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, look, look at that tether there for me, if you can. What's going on there? This could be interesting. Uh, I don't know. It's on the ground. Oh, that's not ours, is it? No. Oh, I was looking at uh, your one. Which way are you going there? One five two. You're go you're you told going. Told me to go to one five two. Yeah, I did. And I've got my maps at zero. I'm Is going the wrong cable way. Cable on the right, on the way there. One five two. I thought we were going west. Yeah, we changed to one five two. We're gonna go down here to this ridge for as much time uh, as we can. Roger. Uh, because the ridges are too far away for us to get to. Okay. And that yeah. looks pretty cool, nonetheless. It's uh, yep. also a mini ridge of some kind. So. Yeah. Uh, so our plan is to do a bottom transect. Fabio, if you want to set that up for however you want the camera, this yeah, looks yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Holy crap. That's our two meter altitude. Can we go lower? We don't yeah, have speed. Just, uh, do we? Hold, hold on a sec, guys. Since we changed direction, I need to get out in front of Atalanta where okay. we uh, start the transect. So this is going to be a uh, yeah, rapid move here. Thanks. Okay. Put good night. Down cam. Back through my own dust cloud. Looks like we're under Star Wars. Yeah, that's, I think that's, not clear. that's what it usually looks like behind the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got a target coming up in about 20 meters. Yeah, well you're kind of getting, uh, you'll be near your experiment. Uh, that'll be that's that target that's about 20 meters away so yeah, you're safe where you are that's the giant dust cloud from before Roger oh I see I'll see if I can go to the south of it a bit that ship move has just begun Atalanta will hopefully feel it at some point soon but what did you say the bearing was right here? Uh 152 looking for clear water now yeah Atalanta's bit and pulled yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna pull you a little just to get out of the. You can. Uh, I'm gonna let it spin around there. This is uh, from us taking off earlier. I'll be around here. For that's pretty days. cool. Just like <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when we're heavy. <laughs> gonna reset you real quick. Right. 
Carry over there, yeah. Uh, come down five meters, Danny. Coming down five meters. I'll stop on the winch. Yeah, you uh, might be able to spin Heavy back weather. around now. I'm facing the same heading as you, but my camera's faced right down. Oh, yeah. So let me tilt my camera up. See if I can find you. Should see me off to your left there. There you are. Okay, ship move is rapid. It'll just take a while for Adelina to feel it, but once it goes, it'll go. Look to your uh, left a little. Does this setup look okay for you, Fabio? Um, yeah, I think a meter altitude. One meter altitude? And half one, knot. 1.6 at a half knot. Half knot, half knot and yeah. just hold the heading. We're choosing 135. 152. 152? Okay. What, what was the altitude you wanted? Well, a meter is uh, as a minimum. <laughs> the other day you told me you could go lower. Yeah, well, we're static, not at half a knot. Are you crazy? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it what you can give me. Uh, usually about 1.6 is stable for yeah, our, okay. the way our um, autos work. We can fly lower, but. You know, I can't fly as good as a computer can. So I've got it clicked in now for what's the goal. One, five, two, nine hundred meters. Is that what you were asking back there, Dirk? Yeah, I've got it set for uh, 1.4 meters. So it will you know, it's just, it'll vary a little, but if we go any lower than that, it I uh, can't use the auto function. That's okay. Uh, so the that should be a good setting there. I'll crank up the gain a little bit. Then I'll ask Ed if that's our starting view. If we can tap on the zoom, just one tap. Sure. Stand by. Okay. There you go. I'll drop a target in here about where we start. Nope, not that one. Okay, Danny, I have currently set. So, have you done the video transects before? Yeah, we don't yeah. touch the camera. Yeah, I don't touch the camera, the altitude, or the heading, unless, obviously, you need to avoid, uh, you know, a rock. Yeah, <laughs> terrain. <laughs> and you can't stop and look at the pretty sea And pens. then, so, if you see, um, we could probably come up a few meters on the tether. Let's come up to 30. Oh, I just got you in frame. Yeah, with this long tether. So, uh, since we don't have a, even if we did, I don't use it. What I do when we're doing this is I set my speed by the Atalanta view. So if I'm in the middle of the box all the time and Atalanta's moving at a constant speed, then the vehicle's therefore moving at a constant speed, right? Yep. So basically all you gotta do is keep Hercules in the middle of that box don't hit the mud, and if you want to, you can, um, once you get that dialed, you can hit stick lock and go have coffee. Or let the next guy operate, which I believe is you. <laughs> you good? You I'm good. good. Yeah. So we'll put Jake in there, and you here, and I'm out. 
Okay. That's uh, okay. We'll yeah. miss you, Dan. Video transect, that's what we're doing? Yeah. That's it. Can Roger. I hit start here? We have freedom. I do. Oh, here you freedom go. to move. Huh? Uh, yep. It's up to pilot as he yep. gets Actually, settled I, in I, here. I might be waiting on a move. I'm not sure. Yep. Atalanta just started to move and it should start to be coming up to speed. Um, so yeah, we can start to drive. Okay. Just keep it in the box. Keep it in the box. <coughs> keep it in the box. And then I tend to look at the nav screen to make sure I'm kind of keeping a straight line. That and uh, Pick a point on this. You can kind of like pick a point on the sea floor ahead of you, and see which way the, the lasers are drifting off. Yeah, so you just can kind of counteract it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You can get a get a feel for the current. And you just keep, keep the headings the altitude 1.5 yeah. or six. I don't know. Yeah. What's your um, at maybe Atlanta? Can you get your heading to one five? Never right. mind. You're you're okay. You're just going to be crabbing along. Uh, right. We're gonna we're going one five two. And what's your heading? Heading is 148. 115. It's okay. You're you're still. You know that you're in the center of that screen, but you're yeah. you're going to be going at 152, which is a little bit off. I can bring it around. Well, if you bring it around, then he might be out oh, of. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Right yeah. That's that's fine. That's good. Yeah, 115. 115. Yeah. We'll split the difference. Sorry. What was that, Fabio? No, I was gonna tell ads to keep an eye for. I think another tap in the zone would be great, actually, to eliminate the... Another the tap? Yeah, another tap in the zoom. Yeah, I don't see anything here, but I'll give it another tap. There you go. There you go. Now I can see more of it. So when you guys are saying keep it in the box, are you talking about like this screen here? Or We're actually talking one? about the Argus view. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. We call so that our box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep box. Hercules so within that view. Keep yourself streamed out ahead. And yeah. And then your speed somewhat constant. Yeah. <laughs> Half not. Yeah. We're What's using the, uh, the no box, worries. as it were, to uh, set our speed so we know. Right. Atlanta speed, so well, Hercules is in the I got middle some blocks in front of me. Right, so you might have to feather the altitude if... if uh, Negative yeah. on feathering the altitude. Don't listen to the navigator. <laughs> no, okay, well, don't. Yeah, don't. it'll automatically do it. <laughs> yeah, but it's on the back. It's in the middle. <laughs> yeah, you're normally fine, but... Sometimes if you hit the rocks, you're too close. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, for that. in that case, uh, you take it out of altitude. At auto altitude. And yeah. Oh, I hit the lock. Okay, yeah, so don't listen to Nav. Run into rocks. <laughs> 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 well, if he would have feathered the the uh, altitude without taking it out of al auto altitude, it wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, yeah the so rocks have take it out of auto depth. Yeah, you click out of auto depth. We should listen to Jake. Yeah, he's well, I've got pro. three different people telling me how to fly. All right, I'll and it's up. like a it's. Oh, so joystick, so it's, yeah. Backwards. Plain, plain, plain concept, yes. Well, so it's depth. <laughs> if you would have simply taken it out of auto altitude, it would have just slipped it up. So <clears throat> set your Z bias at about 25. Okay, I see the problem here. The ship has, uh, okay. here is the problem. I'm the bouncing off the ground. The ship has called in 125, not 152. Okay. That is where we are miss. Let me see if that still gets us roughly to where we're going. Otherwise, we're going to have to 
That will still get us to the ridge. It'll just be further up, Fabio. Okay, no problem. Um, so can we have Hercules adjust to the 125 to get uh, more in the box? Of, so basically you're just going to kind of, yeah, get over to here in front of Atalanta slowly, and then we'll be driving at 125 after that. Okay. Sorry for the confusion. The, it got called in wrong. Got typed in wrong. One two five is going to be the bearing. I was wondering why things were not lining up. Okay, I'm bouncing off bottom. Yep. So come like, back down. So we come down, and then you can click back into auto out when, when you find you're at a good. Like one point seven. Yeah. Yeah. 1.6 is ideal for uh, the Zeus to kind of pop. You'll see as you come down that it'll... Uh, um, and we are going to need to get some forward way in order to stay. Roger. Yeah, you're drifting. Now we're out of the box. Bottom of the box. You gotta go a little bit faster than that. Stay in the um, box. Yep, working on it. So with this system, Danny, any changes to heading or altitude, you typically take the auto function off before you do. I did put a heading and the altitude. Yeah. You can get away with heading, but it's r with auto heading on, adjusting your heading, but it makes the video really jerky. Depending on what the gain is set at in the auto heading function on the XY. Okay, right at the, right, right is straight ahead. Yep. You keep driving straight ahead, you'll come out, come okay. into the box. It's yeah. a good speed. Jersey bias off a little more, 25. A little diddle on your uh, Z bias knob there. Oh, slow down my. What do you want me to do? Just back your Z bias off to 25. Other way. So if you do have to come up again, um, just stop flying forward and click the auto altitude button. Take your hands off the controls and then the vehicle will continue to move forward, but it will just, you know, float up. Where Rennie was talking about feathering the joystick is um, if you have your Z bias on too much, you can you know, pull back a little to get less down trim. I can barely hear you, Dan. How about now? Yep, gotcha. Yep. Okay. This is the ideal seafloor image. Well, now we're we came up a little bit, but 1.56. Yeah, I was that trying to get down a little bit. The illumination field of the camera is is good at that point. Yeah, it pops below 1.6. So you currently have it set for you're adjusting while you're in. Um, oh, no, I've got no, auto depth off. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, you're doing it right. And you click it in there, it might be dangerously low. We'll see what happens. Click it in? Yeah. Sure. I usually click it in at 1.3, 1.4, and it'll oscillate between yeah. 1.2 and 1.6. Depending on how the tether is tugging on you and what the current is and all that, how fast you're going. What are you Does that look like some hummocks off to the right? I, w I would not call them hummocks. <laughs> yeah, hummocks over there? <laughs> there's like four hummocks. The, you could say that it looks hummocky, but I, I would not hummocks. say that there's a <laughs> those are like bioturbation. You're talking about the hummocks over yeah, there? Yeah, the hammocks. The hammocks? The hammocks. <laughs> what are those? I'm curious here. Just uh, where the. Looks to me like bioturbation of like these mounds. Yeah. Some kind. 
I don't know, Fabio. But what do you call them? Uh, he calls them hummocks. That's not what I call them. <laughs> <laughs> There's like hum hummocky lands hummock landscapes I always associate with volcanic oh, on I land. I see. But they are bumpy and kind of... Mm, how about a good speed? It could be yeah. holotorium yeah, poop. Could just a little yeah. skate. A little more and you'll get in the box. Skate then, coming into view? Yep. Yeah. It's the same one. I'm going to drive right on top of them. Where is the... Uh, what channel is the rub dam on? Rav nav, you mean PC wise or the the button? Uh, no, on the uh, KVM. Control Alt X. What? Control Alt X is called Rav nav, yeah. It's hidden under the Rav nav, but I want to say maybe I page six or something, there. five or six. Five. Thank you. So you want to make up a little speed, Danny? You want to see good. the the boxes on the nav screen, the little square white boxes. Yeah. There's another reference for you. So each of those are 10 meters. So I typically try and stay two to three boxes in front of yeah. Atalanta. Because <coughs> it's better uh, to be out ahead. Yeah. Okay. Tether in well, the bay. You can just easily do it. You're fine right now. But just you know, as a, you don't have to like really zoom faster to like you are now. But just that, that too fast. Yeah, you'll get, you'll get out of the... Yeah. Yeah. So what'll happen is, the, depending on who's sitting at Argus, what their job usually is, is to keep Herc in the center of, of the view, so they'll adjust the heading or the camera, and you'll think you're in the box, but they'll, like, you know, have turned Argus 90 degrees and tilted down. So you can use that the box, as we call it, the Argus screen, but also reference the nav. And it's nice to have the ship in there, too, so <coughs> if the ship's, for example, not moving in the right direction or taking a runner. See the ship's all the way down here, but yeah. when I zoom out, you'll get the 50-meter boxes, which are less desirable. Yeah. Okay. So we might not be able to have the, the ship. You can also keep an eye on the ship's uh, speed and course over ground on your Grafana page to the right of your... Yeah, they're going 0.5 knots. Yeah. I think i am got a good speed going. I think yeah, it might so be a hair fast. But that's a nice uh, lead on the yeah. nav screen. But, you know, you're three boxes out, so you know you're 30 meters in front of uh, Atalanta. And you're <laughs> lined up, you know, your course over ground is the same as... Atlanta's looks like it may be drifting a little to the north, but... Yeah, it's a little too tight. And if the video starts bouncing, then you're... Yeah, if you see Argus start bouncing like that... Yeah, you're I mean too pulling. Yeah. You're too tight, yeah. Yeah. So you just slow down a little bit. So there's a sweet spot in there somewhere with this 50-meter tether with a delta somewhere between 30 and 35. And you two to three boxes out where it's not pulling on you. And then if you do want to stop and look, smell the flowers or whatever, or avoid a rock or whatever, you have some time to, to play around. I wish I had a speedometer I could follow. Yeah, there used to be one on the Rob Nav screen. Yeah, and then there was a perpetual debate on if it was meters per second or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Never ending. And you'll get to judge the size of uh, things that you're looking at. One thing I use to, um, when you're going over them, is the some pillow lava looks like is the uh, looking down in the bubble camera yeah so you'll get to know what you know one if you think about it one 1.3 meters is you know I think I hit that rock I don't think so no I just let off the throttle because I'm 
Please be patient. I am a student driver. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you bump a rock at the speed, it's not, you know, it's walking speed, so. Yeah. Depends on, if you skim across it, it's all right, but if you think you're going to just let go of the stick and you'll, you know, you'll stop when you bump it. You're bouncing a little yeah, there. Too so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Slow down. Argus keeps pulling me. You're pulling Argus. Uh, I'm right in the middle of the box. Yeah, but you're... Your, your 20, bearing 35. is starting to go, um, yeah, to the wrong oh. direction. And you're out too far ahead. So it needs to slightly slow down and also change to more to your port. No, um, I'm not really doing a straight line now, am I? Uh, yeah. It just took a kink, but it's okay. We can kind of ease back. Yeah. Don't change your heading. Just kick, put a little lateral in while you're going forward. Uh, yeah, same heading. Just okay. 123. Lateral to the left. To port. Yeah, heading should be 125, and it's it's about 10 degrees off. I kind of think that uh, Atalanta's heading. When do you guys? Yes, when do you? There is how often do you up update the compass? Uh, Never. Okay. Well, that would be because we're in a totally different latitude now. So. Yeah, we have a probably a twenty degree offset. I yeah. noticed that. I would launch agree with too. that. Yeah. Like the ship was. I was like, what's going on here? Yeah. It was at least like. Is that hard coded or is that in an any or what is that? Um. Because those models change like pretty quite severely each year. Really, the declination changes. Yeah. Declination, yeah. So, I mean, certainly dependent on latitude and location. Well, but, yeah, I knew that. No, it changed. Yeah, it's going oh. at a different rate. Oh, right, the poles swapping kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. We noted it in the red book the other day, and we did. We haven't got to it yet. You can note it again, Jake, and maybe yep. something we can deal I'll with on it. the, I'll on the way uh, down to hiking in Alaska it was pretty significant. Is that looking a little better? Yeah. Future navigator it's here, better. I need to fix these issues. Well, if it's something in an any that you want us to add to our pre-cruise or something, it, it's only once per cruise, really, unless you're covering a lot of ground. Yeah, we should we should deal with the, uh, What do we ever work out with the octans? It does it by itself? Okay. The octans will... Uh, should be fine because it's gyro. Well, latitude-wise, it'll change. Yeah, uh, we need to have this a discussion before. Yeah, we have a slight offset for latitude. Fired up the tens repeater and put in the <laughs> latitude. But I think we worked out that it gets it somehow from. The it might get it because from Navest actually. I think it does. When yeah. we put in the our latitude, um, it might get it from there. That doesn't feed the Argus compass, unfortunately. So our pre dives involve putting latitude into Navest, and I think that might be because I think the Octans talks two-way communication with Navest. I believe it. I think that's what we worked out. Yeah. Is that because you have to do UTM conversions and stuff? Or What's that? Do you have to do like UTM conversions and stuff? Uh, no, just latitude, really, just for the gyro. Gyro shouldn't care what our projection is. Cares about the sphere. It does, it it does yeah. have a latitude setting though. It doesn't help that we did 125 and not 152. <laughs> but still getting to the ridge. Actually, it's going to be a faster route to the ridge than prior. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get to the r ridge more directly, more per perpendicular. Um, so actually, yeah, let's see, when did we start this? Happy accident. 
So we'll probably get there in six five zero meters instead of nine hundred, but it's a it's a less proud part of the ridge, but it'll still be the ridge nonetheless. ETA, yeah, let me get that in. Are we there yet, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Slow down a little bit. Ship will get there in 20 minutes. And Hercules, if we're running at this speed the whole time, which is more or less what we'll be doing, maybe a little slower. So uh, is uh, 25 minutes. With that layback, you'll stop us up early when you're in. Roger, yeah, I'll stop us um, at the ridge. Right. I'll stop the ship at the ridge, and then everyone will eventually follow. Oh, they're climbing up so high. You can see on the. So you still have your auto at altitude on, so that yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you turn that off, then you can. I'm just wondering why it just started jumping off. Yeah, that, uh, I, that I don't know. <laughs> it, I don't know. It's PID controller, so it's not. It does fluctuate a bit, and sometimes when you like go over rocks or some slope changes, it will jump up and then overshoot and then come back down. So on the video transect, to not uh, miss a lot, you can. It, it's okay to stop moving forward and adjust your altitude and then start going again. I think it's uh Looks like it's settled out there. It's okay, it's a good thing I stopped. But yeah, uh, it's okay to stop, especially if you got tether in the bank, so then they don't miss um you know, the, the idea is to get video of it if we need to stop and make some adjustments. It's Gonna get another dive in there before the weather comes. You gotta push these OET people, they're pretty soft on the weather. <laughs> I think green water on deck is not too rough. A sea cucumber wants to say hi. Yeah. Little stretch.
bend a little uh, lateral left, Danny, and kind of slowly mows. Can't it. hear you, Dan, sorry. Oh, I was saying Danny go. can hold in a little lateral left. This yeah, I saw this big rock in front of me in the sonar. It was like, yeah. Yeah. Eh, just call around it. I don't want to go over it. Rocks are cool. Yeah. <laughs> don't be afraid of a rock. Just give it a little shimmy. Uh, just slow down and take control of the vehicle and you know, watch your uh, bubble cam. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Once Heading you get looks over good. It, then, uh, yeah, come back down. With your Z bias set right now, if you take all your autos off and let go of the sticks, it will slowly float up. I'm at 1.4. No, I mean, if you have to. Oh. Um, if you stop and. You know, take the auto altitude off. It'll, it'll. Gotcha. If I have to go around a uh, big rock, it'll float up. A red yeah, tail, maybe. A meter, yeah. A meter or two a minute. Is that also so a granite deer? Are they the same? Yeah, same group. Uh huh. Should I go back to my line? A granite deer is a much good. nice sound better. than a red tail. It's yeah. better in front there. It's, it's all good. Because they started to commercial to 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 fish for these deep water fishes, yeah, and they didn't have a market with the red tail name. So but in general, yeah, for a video transect, you just stay on, even if they're because they're trying to characterize what's on the path, and if yeah. you avoid things, then you don't, they're not characterizing it. Gotcha. So I should have went up and over the. Well, look. it's okay. We were we needed to kind of get back in the pocket anyway. So if you um, slowly use laterals on a transect where it's not smearing the video, where it's like barely noticeable. So over, you know, 100 meters, you can slide, you know, 10 meters to the, in this case, uh, the northeast. And they're still getting the, you know, the same video transect and you stay on course. Yep. Same, uh, same with multi beam. You can slowly, slowly. If you do a radical one, then it skews the data. Am I good to steal your bubble, Booba? Yeah. Okay, just bounced up. Shut, shut off auto depth, and then the Z will just drip, bring, take me back down. Uh, the Z no, will take you up. You'll have to oh. thrust. It's positively buoyant. Yeah, no, you'll, positively buoyant. you'll have to adjust your altitude back down. <laughs> you can play with it a few times along the way. Take it off and uh, take control of it. The key is... Uh, gentle on the inputs because we're moving 5,000 pounds around so like driving a forklift or a boat uh -huh. <laughs> some <laughs> combination of the two Need to get out in front of in front of you again. Slow down too much. Yeah. Have a lot to keep some huh? truck. But slowly get out in front. You don't have to zoom yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to. Yeah. We're not we're not like technically out of the box unless we're behind it. But um, and as long as we're moving like this, the tether's likely streaming behind us, so I can't see the delta from over here. But, uh, yeah, you're all right, 30-something. If 
we were uh, static and under Atlanta, that might be a different case. But since we're moving, it should be streaming out behind us. Is that a clock? Hmm. It is. <laughs> I think it was, yeah. Some kind of slipper. I think that's an anthrop anthropogenic item. Dan, I found your clock. <laughs> See that? <laughs> um, if you're getting too far under Argus, you can also ask Rennie to slow the speed to like 0.3 for a while. To I think uh, I'm not getting overrun yet. Get him to uh, pan the nav screen before you fly off of it. Yeah, uh, I think he just heard you. <laughs> <laughs> he can put it on auto center if he wants, so he can. What's messing me up is it's going the opposite direction I'm going versus it just sitting in front of me and like my face pointing. The, yeah. Yeah, north is always up Port. on the nav screen. No, that makes sense. The Saint Green seat. <laughs> <laughs> big old Ooh, look at that. There's a big dark fish we just passed off to port as well. Look at that bound. Very good thing Megan's not in here, should be hitting me. This this is not how you do a transect. She'll be in here soon. I'm, see, I'm sure she's watching you somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is her, like, her career is watching these and counting all the creatures. Hey, don't you guys use the Ambari software to uh, post, log, everything seen in your dive videos? That uh, is a her question. All their automated... Oh, yeah. um, no, she does stuff? everything by herself. Uh, Vars? Original. The Ed? Yeah. The Vars? Yeah, I think uh, I think that uh, what used to be Hurls, now the, I don't know what your group is called, Danny, but they, Dark. they uh, evaluate the footage after the dive and log all the organisms, much like Amari does. Megan is... Um physically annotating all the animals she sees and um, they're going into a database where um, uh, image recognition. She's gathering thousands of images, watches the video, freezes it. Then they get a break from doing that. She comes out here and creates it. Yeah. The terrain is becoming a bit more interesting. Yeah, it's yes. getting a little steeper. Yeah. Definitely come up a little bit. Oh. You so can, um, fish. They're like a tripod fish or something. That's the second one I've seen. 
So That's, uh, we've got the uh, I know. Uh, Antimora Rostrada. Thank you. The max velocity on the on the Z is currently set pretty low. It's set low enough to where if the hill changes too radically, um, the Antimora. max velocity. Yeah. So you can tell by looking at your utility or your Grafana what your rate of ascent is. So I left it soft on purpose because if it's tighter it tends to porpoise a little more. But you can always crank that up a little if you're starting to go up the hill. You can set that Z max V for like 0.5. I think my altitude's staying pretty consistent but my depth's changing. But it is. Yeah. So it's doing what yeah. it should do, I think. It is for the moment, yeah. You may also find that you have to, uh, as you're starting to go up a steeper hill, you might have to set that altitude higher to keep the front of the vehicle. Um, okay, I'm going to... Slop the stop the ship here because it's kind of reaching the ridge, so we don't get into like crazy terrain there. Okay, um, we'll stop the transect there, but you guys will keep going, and you'll just slowly settle out where the ship is, which is a bit noise. So science that will be about a 650 meter transect to the ridge base. That sounds good. Okay, bridge nav. Oh, there we are. Do we have Hold further position. instructions for recovery? Or Thank you. Not yet. Um, not yet. We are in discussion about um, a midwater transect, transect to MEF. Midwater? Uh, yeah. To go as fast as we can, because oh. the terrain is not, is not uh, conducive to trying to stay on the bottom at a knot. I can stay on the bottom in any terrain at a knot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Well, I've, uh, we've sp right. we've spanned that we've spanned that gap before. It's gonna be like the Ewoks <laughs> well, scene through the redwoods. I can always come off the bottom if you know. Yeah, tell Dan in the morning. Can't handle it. Come on, Hurt can do two knots, so yeah, bring it. Which is funny. There's, there's some walls there that that will be. Uh, the winch will get its wear. <laughs> That'll be a cool transit, actually. Midwater uh, transit. Oh my god. Well, Just kill me now. What's the speed? Will be two <laughs> yeah. knots? It'll no, we can't. We uh, one knot. Sorry. One, one knot. Yeah, because we're gonna be crabbing a bit with the ship. We should get there right exactly at three p three a.m. though, Dan. Perfect. We That'll could be nice to have like a midwater transit horizontally. Can can do. Like uh, it's also pretty flat until you get to that bumpy bit, so it's possible mm. that we could go and not on the seafloor, maybe, but in discussion with Cormany, but mm -hmm. um, until we get to that rough terrain. Um, but it's still being discussed downstairs, so they're just always talking about weather windows and stuff up here. Mm. Yeah, it d does depend on the weather. I don't know uh, what value it is to uh, scientists to do a knot on the seafloor. It's too fast for them to yeah, see anything. Count, yeah. yeah. But Fabio is saying maybe midwater is valuable. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Horizontal midwater. I'm for sure working on that craft master. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's up for a midwater transit. Yeah. Rennie is too. Put him in the driver's seat. Sure. Actually, Megan really wants to drive. Ooh, yeah, she's yeah. coming on watch. She can navigate and drive. Start <laughs> See, Jake was going to come out as a navigator, so put Jake in. Yep. Put me Hi. in nav. Give me the training now, Rennie. Yeah. I'll cook. Jump over there. <laughs> Nav midwater is just make sure you're high up enough. Don't run into a mountain going Easy in the enough. right direction. Yeah. It's a Coke bottle. Oh, there's well. a dead fish. Oh. Hey, anyone want a souvenir? Yeah. What is that? Coke bottle. Coke bottle. That's an air in it too, it looked like. I think it was 
1987 <laughs> on the year that, that design. Go ahead, Bridge. Well, that's how we train uh, with Lurukai. I have several at home. Um, doesn't matter too much though because we had the center of rotation on the ship at the center, but we, in this kind of weather, we don't make many ship heading changes, so it actually doesn't really matter. And we're also pretty deep, but I had him change it to the aft anyway. So the transit's going to be uh, sideways on the ship, is that what you're saying, Randy? Yeah. Um, it will be, let's see what the bearing is. Zero it's about six kilometers at two, six, two. Oh, other way. So roughly west, yeah. Um, mm. And the forces are coming from the north, northwest right now. That, that's... So that's that'll be a likely not gonna happen at all. Yeah, it's basically try it otherwise because that's kind of what our where our tasks lie are over there. Um, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We will have to watch many things, including the wire angle. But yeah. it should be pulling to that should be pulling away from the ship, so it should be fine. Should be to the starboard side. And over, over 20 and sideways, the captain's going to... Yeah. Yeah, Raj. Push back. Yeah, and we don't, we can't really afford to change heading in that direction in this, with, especially with vehicles down, it's not really... Yeah, I don't know, at this depth, if we we're mid-water... Yeah, the ship can turn and burn. Just drag hook behind. I know we, we do. We do. Mode. We do go in tow mode. Prefer not to because it's yeah. so hard on the tether. But I think it's. I think it's just too much wind to beam. It's, it's a toss up if you're you know working the thrusters that hard for hours or just towing it along. Yeah. I know that just, we just tow it. And that are kind of standard blue water, Randy? What's that? Our standard blue water transit is to tow? Uh, yeah, it depends on the speed that we can get. And um, and uh, for tow mode, because we're so far aft and not on the seafloor facing forward, then uh, we have to come up in the water column even further because that, um, so that can eat up some time. So you have to come up all, quite a bit, and then when you land, you come back. Have to come descend back down. Right. So the setup for tow mode is like, how far are you going distance-wise, and is it does it even? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Yeah. Uh -huh. So the other midwater transit mode is you fly herc ahead but you just fly blue water yeah um yeah i guess you'll be dry yeah pretty much i don't know that's kind of pilot's choice to a degree you know it's only so much we can do and if it doesn't work yeah well, i reckon the i reckon the ship will be the limiting factor if you're going west yeah. Which way is the, the winds on the bow right now? Yep, pretty much dead on. Wind and current on the bow. Winds 22. Um, and our heading is 340. He might be able to do it. Yeah. He'll kick the, he might kick the heading to starboard a little, let the wind help push him. Yeah. And just go ahead. Depends on who's up there, I guess. 
Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do something about this chair having this wobble. Yeah, yeah I noticed that it just started. That can go in the red book too. <laughs> That's a new wobble. Yeah, this wobble is kind of every time we take a wall, uh, it's like jerking yeah, the sticks. I meant to do it the other day. We playing cards. We tighten it up every once in a while. Yeah. I really tried to get rid of that chair. I hate for you months. You did try to get it. Like I refused to even bolt it in up. Then I took it out of here and put it in the utility room. And it was really popular in there because people could go in there and have a, like a cell phone <laughs> conversation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for the, for the tech, what, did tech you challenge did that all the time? Uh, did you just use a normal fish? Yeah, just normal chairs like everybody else uh. has. But some of our high maintenance Hercules pilots insisted on having it back up here. They need the inflator over there on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. The yeah. ego inflator. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot nicer than our chair, so if you get rid of it, uh, I call it libs. We got tractor seats that I've put gaming chair base plates in because they're yeah. just horrible. I sat in your okay, so name. we're going to start to see some more terrain in front of us. Um, the ship has been stopped. You're going to be a bit slowing down a bit, but. This ridge is kind of, we have a very loose interpretation of when the ridge starts based on the bathy. So we'll just keep an eye in front um, for both Atalanta and her. I can see the wall of death coming in the area. Yeah. Atalanta sonar. Yeah. Well, probably uh, as we swing in there, I'll let Jake jump in there, Danny, if you don't mind. Yeah, Aww. just let me know when you want me to stop and I will nice hit the X auto XY and... Uh, um, yeah, you don't have to hit the auto X Y. No. You can just literally let go of it. You can deal with it. If you hit the auto X Y, it'll come to a screaming stop and dust it up. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, let's let Jake jump yep. in there now. This is all Jake. I see some uh, terrain coming up. If you want a break, I can jump in as co-pilot. Actually, it's not a bad idea. I might take five minutes. So you see there's a ridge in both Herc and Atalanta. And if it's in Herc and you're that far lower, then it's at least a at least a thirty meter wall, right? Yeah. We hope it's a thirty meter wall. Yeah. yeah. We want hundred meter walls. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how we yeah, I can't really do much for you with the ship at this moment. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit ahead. Yeah. Good. Get some in the bank, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I kill, uh, when I'm coming up to a wall, too, I kill the Z-Bias all together. Looks like Atalanta's probably it's already above cold it. pretty cool terrain, by the way. Yeah. You That's came up a bit, right, Dan? I'm coming up. Yeah, yeah, so it looks like it yeah. faded a bit. Just so I can peek above it. Yeah, I just, I hit zero on it. <coughs> I like to have control of the vehicle. That down thrust will get you in trouble. That's just me. First thing I do when I sit in that chair, whack the yeah. zero. Zero it all out. Yeah. Slam it into the seabed a few times and you'll do the same. I may have got, did I get too greedy on the delta there? Maybe a little. Sorry. That's all right. I'm also, I zoomed out ahead, too. So. That looks like we'll have to come up anyway, so. Yeah, it's probably fine. I just wanted to peak for 35 meters above. I got a good judge of, uh, I come back down, you can see what it looks like.
adjust and allow to head into the left a little to do what the compass offset. So nice pre same check. Very deceiving, it looks like flat ground, does it? Yeah. yeah. That's just the ship even, not anybody else. <laughs> yeah. it's starting to uh it's starting to pick up out there, I don't know. Yeah. You're not zoomed in on Atlanta are you? No, he's negative. Not. <laughs> I should know that by the I'm not sure this controller's hooked up. I like to see the little bit of the tether that this thing would stop running away. I should do the code so when you press up, it turns the actuator on, and when you let go of it, it turns it off. <laughs> work for it, Jake. Uh-huh. Uh, have we ended the transect? Yeah, I think so. We got no navigator in the seat right now, and the ship's not moving, so... No. <laughs> okay. We, we ended it when he stopped the ship, basically. Yeah. And transect. When when Danny got out of the chair, that was it. Just want to make sure that data log did got it. Oh yeah, we didn't officially call it. Nice fish. Nice fish. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So. Our plan is, now that the transect is complete, um, we are ready to recover the vehicle. Roger okay. that. Roger. Copy. One little fish shot. Coming up. Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's uh, an Hold it as more. long as you can, Jake. <laughs> that's a third Do we have a good image of it? I'll have a few. I'll just put a marker on the end of transect. Making a few more. This is cool and this ridge looks very interesting. Yeah. Bahoy hoy lava. I'm glad you know? we uh, got uh, there. Is so that Bahoy hoy? Well it's pillow lava of some sort. I thought Bahoy hoy was the um the the floaty, bubbly, vesicular stuff. Oh that don't you did you see the No that's basalt. No but that's What's this, this thing? Uh, boat I don't know. Big mound again? See how long you can look at it before Atlanta yanks you out to see that. <laughs> I, I, I milk it to the last possible second. Uh, I'm going to spin. Let's, let's do some see which sure tether turns. I'm going to spin. Which this way do I want to spin here? This way? Well, this is probably... I think pillow lava is generally basalt. But I well, haven't taken a yeah. geology course in a long time. I was just, I can never remember which way to spin to take the uh, tether turn out. I went the right way. I guess. It's opposite uh, for Atalanta than it is. Yeah. So I'm coming up that's at uh, uh, 10 meters I don't a minute. Know if that's it's, uh, I think the definition's very um, vesicular. I'm going to drive to the end of the tether. I could stay on the hill for another 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Take off auto oh. 
Just to let you know, the ship is Same falling thing. off station well, right now. Fabio, it looks like you could be more right than I, where I am. Roger that, Randy. Ship on I the move. I don't Pushing know why, though. Okay. Pahoy Hoy is a bit. Okay. Yeah, with um, so Pahoy Hoy actually, lavas are essentially the underwater equivalent of pillow basalt. That's an underwater Pahoy Hoy. Hoy. Uh, fly it out if you want, Jake. Tail to tail now. Yep. I want to say the bow thruster is not. Did you see some? Maui? Bridge see some what? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, we saw that really crunchy lava flow. Oh, uh, yes. It looks like, like we're falling off station a bit. Looks um, like just, just sharp, so jaggedy. You know, we are coming off bottom to prepare for recovery. Looks like we, saw high. we saw a lot of the stuff where it looks like a farmer took a big yeah, till and tilled the soil and it station. solidified into rock. The thruster is disengaged or something. I don't see it working. I have a friend in the Department okay, of Geology. You. I still have it. Tom Shea. University of Hawaii. He What's his is name a again? Volcanologist. Uh, Paul. Yeah, Paul. He took us to Kilauea. Yeah. And uh, mm. so we went Come to search to for the lava flows. Two point four meters. We did minute. like a, okay. I think a ten hour hike yeah, into the about from the border of the park yeah, all yeah. the way to the lava flows. Oh, I thought and it was zero. <laughs> I remember I didn't have a, a proper hiking boot, so we're all typing, uh, taping our shoes with duct tape because yeah, yeah. it was melting away yeah, as, yeah. as we were hiking because it's very, it's, it's brittle and, and glassy, right? It's almost yep. like glass, sharp glass. Well, that was a cool, cool adventure. Yeah, yeah, that does sound cool. Yeah, what an amazing place. Just so different than anything else. Uh, it looks like the bow thruster is indeed disengaged. Um, so I think he's working on that, but we are falling off to the west. Right, right now we still have heading. The jet pump's working to keep us our heading intact, right. but until that bow thruster turns on, <laughs> we don't have much time <laughs> for, t t for that to work. Resetting the DP check. Yeah. Hmm. What happened? You're only making 15 now. I drove ahead. I was oh, right. pretty slack on the tether. Roger. 50 meters squares now. Yeah, but we got some good samples. Are you gonna to um, you're gonna do the processing of the water, the filters? Oh, you're too low. That's I hope why. not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure someone else. Is. No, I can help for sure. There's the, I think the canisters are more delicate job. I'll keep it at 20 ish till you catch okay. up. Until I can see your BDI out Cool. There. Good dive. Roger, yeah, it's good. Got a good transect in. Got a good transect, and the operation went really quick. Bow thruster is re-engaged, as you can tell. It's a good sign when the DP goes offline while we're holding station. Yeah, that's yep. always... Recovering the deck's probably a good option. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I'm going to switch you over to USB. No, I'll wait till we're done. We still got I a few beams. I can barely hear you, Randy. Why is that? Oh, he turned off SPL, that's why. Oh, that's probably, it could be me too, I'm quiet. No, now I'm staring way down over here and I turned off SPL. Now all the secrets come out. <laughs> <laughs> Just turned nav down over <laughs> No, yeah. they were on SPL before, but there was too much chatter. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Couldn't deal with it. Oh, we're coming off bottom. Go ahead, Bridge. Roger that. Bow thruster is back on. Thank you. Uh, well you can hold position here. It's fine. Thank you. All right. Now I'm going to switch you back over to dead or uh, sorry to USBO for our ascent.
That's a Roger. We are recovering the deck. Plan is subject to change without notice. I'm kind of uh, impressed that we lost the bow thruster for that long and the jet pump was able to keep heading. I think it's because the forces are from the same direction. Even though they're strong, it could kind of battle it for a bit. So the captain or somebody did say, yeah, we're not doing that sideways or not. Um, the so decision happened? was that the experiments in the starboard uh, bio box may be contaminated if we go do bars or something at MEF. Oh, I see. Um, so we're going to recover them. We will transit over to MEF and there will be a decision on whether or not we can squeeze in a quick bounce to do something, at least plug the bars in. Um, but TBD. Plug the bars in where? At Grotto? Yeah, or whatever is left to do there with bars. I don't yeah. recall. Yeah. Um, but is that, that the dive we abandoned? Yeah. Yeah, whatever we just pick up on tasks there, but that'll depend on when we get on station, have everything turned over, and if the weather is cooperative. Mm -hmm. Roger. I usually do this to um, big screen winch. Yeah, I, yeah. I put uh, winch alt up there because I, I can't see on the little tiny cameras what the hell's yeah. going on. Uh, Ed, while I have you and Dan here um, on the winch uh, control on the social deck, that screen uh, we were talking about putting one of the quadrants to be wire cam. We can talk that through. Yeah, that's a. We should involve Trevor in that. The intent is that the uh, pilots see the same four cameras everywhere. Okay. So they're just used to looking at it. But if they're not back there controlling it, we can certainly put wire there. Talk yeah, Trevor I'll see if it. if um, um, we oh, can he, come to a decision about whether or not we could get he's one talking of the four. About the, uh, monitor on the deck. Yeah. Yeah, it would be one. Yeah, to get one of the four yeah. as wire. I'll I'll talk with them about it, and Dan could talk to them um, about it. I think it's useful to. Do you guys have cam port anywhere? What's that? No. Cam port's quite picturesque right now. Cam port, yeah. yeah. Check this out. Uh, I wish I put a double panel there. Hey Jake, yep. look, out, look out the window. I nice. was out there earlier. I saw the full moon. I, nice. I wrote that in one of the, the dive log. Uh, Did you? Th for weather, I was like, full moon. Nice. Yeah. That was when I, I did the dive log down from the shop when you guys were up here. Uh, actually, as I get the boat out of frame, my gain's going to kick in. I can barely hear you, too, Ed. He's got him. Oh, you're turned up. Uh, Gauge check. Check. Okay, back to this. Cool, though. All right, I got control of that. What happened to the moon? Yeah, where'd the moon go? <laughs> Turn off those A-frame lights. Is that what you wanted us to look at? Or yeah, did you? no, I just thought that moonlight on the water looked cool. No, I like the moon shot, too. I couldn't get in on it. it my uh, The gain kicked in, and then... Uh, oh. And then I put in manual exposure, uh, which I'm not in right now. Ooh. Normally, I should be able to get a good Freaking shot. Amazing of camera. And you can't, oh, that was cool, that bird. Yeah. Um, you can't tell it, but I'm riding this joystick. I can like barely it. hear you. Yeah. Can you hear him? You I can hear him. Why can't I hear you? What's going on here? Are you listening to SPL? Nope, you're not on SPL. I am listening to SPL. Oh, really? You're usually off of it. 
It still sound like you're moving that far yeah. away. Uh, I'll check your input output gains. You probably got it turned down. <laughs> Fighter pilot on the joystick. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Here, you want to try it? No. Here. You play games, right? What's that? You play video games, right? Yeah, I used to. Yeah, try and keep this in frame. Yeah, it won't even go all the way. Actually, that's pretty easy. Or, or just watch watch this hand of mine, Dan. So go all the way in. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to rip that joystick right out of that controller. <laughs> That's pretty good, though. Game over. Insert yeah. coin. Yep. Um, so I want uh, cross point gains for co pilot. I don't know what's up with the levels. These things are all. And your levels are all wonked. wonky. There should be a level reset button. There is. It's right here. There you go. You're completely reset. You're still really soft. Well, that's because I just reset my level. I can hear my side tone. My front is... What's your side tone set to? I have no idea. I so can't. press the top right button on the keypad over on the right. Side tone level is minus 10. Yeah, that's a little high. I would run like 13 oh. or 14 down. That's good to know. Yeah. It is a little high. How do I turn? I forget. I always hear uh, myself way too loud. Yeah. It's hard to, uh, there's a lot of button press presses press. to get to adjust that in there. No, top right. Yeah. And but then you just turn just the turn the top knob. Oh. Uh, yeah, somebody else calling. Check one, check one, check one. Minus 15. Wow, that's a lot easier than I remember. Top right <laughs> button and then tweak the top knob. Ah, interesting. Ooh, I need to come a little faster. Video's Just going off comms. Roger. You're full up there, Jake. Yep. Uh, 22 meters a minute. Okay. Porch out. Take the porch out and I'll drop a weight. Okay. Roger. Hotel. Well, 22. Mm. Oh. Is it worth having to change, uh, add a new weight? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> no, we should make 25. That's our, that's our published number. I can do it. Huh? Huh? is done. Huh? Oh, you got lateral in, that's why. A little bit. Yeah. It was by accident. No, you yeah. don't need no stinking lateral. We don't do that anymore with the new frame config. I must have just done it. I must have just popped in there. We have historically with this ballast got 25 meters a minute. So I'll, I'll wait for a minute for a pull one. We're just testing some audio with, yeah, I hear you on SPL. Do you guys hear data? That's just a test for data on SPL. Yeah, yeah I can yeah, finally you hear you. Okay, cool. Roger. Thank you. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> okay, great. Thanks. Glad that worked. I'm shy. I'm hiding behind the screens. <laughs> now you're getting 25, Jake. 25. That's more bad about it. Yeah, we don't have to do the windshield wiper thing anymore. We've changed the um, orientation of the vertical thrusters to be Sweet. Uh, where it's not hit the box. It's one of the frame redesign thingies. And it has, uh, yeah, for minus 50 to minus 70, which we should be now, because we picked up, we went in at minus 70, right? Uh, minus a little 50? bit minus, a little bit less. Because of the three mystery weights I just three covered. Three mystery <laughs> weights. Yes. <laughs> the In the middle of the vehicle. <laughs> yeah, you have to point that out to Trevor. Right, so he's, he's <laughs> the one that redid it from scratch. I'm going to.
turn on the minute for a minute though, just uh, give it a... Does that don't flow or no? No. <laughs> wow. I love it. Go ahead, Bridge. After recovery, the current intention is that we will uh, have the ship transit to a approximately six, five to six kilometers west um, to where we were earlier and assess weather for a dive. Uh, we'll need to, I think by jet pump we should be fine because we need to uh, turn over the ROVs. Yes, thank you. By jet pump, does that mean a DP move? Uh, so he, some of the vernacular is a bit different, but he, so DP is he uses like computer and jet pump would be manual drive, so I kind of leave it to them to decide which one of those they want to do, however they can get fastest over. Right. Um, but yeah. Oh, they just manually drive the boat yeah, with, the with, jet the, with the jet pump? Yeah, with the jet pump, yeah. That's the half DP that they talk, talk about, kind of? What's manual, that? Manual mode. Half, yeah, yeah. Half, yeah, yeah. I let them do what they, what they want in those instances. You can but the main engine, I think, for 6K is overkill, especially because you guys got we got to turn the vehicles over and whatnot. By the time that yeah, you can't really can start it. the mains until vehicles are on deck, if we could if we could warm them up, but then I don't know, maybe they can bring them on anytime, half an hour. Yeah, but then let's see, 6K. Uh, I guess it depends on how. I think I think we'll have plenty of time to jet pump by the time we turn everything over. Yeah, we could use a thorough turnover. Yeah. We kind of rushed the last few. Like the last one, we literally <laughs> put oil in it. <laughs> yeah. Trevor's gonna give. There's nothing in the dive box. No. <laughs> did we do any? Uh, Danny did a little bit of it. I don't oh. know if he finished it. I did. I, I made a dive log. Uh, pencil whip professionals on the shift. We get a little latitude with ONC to make a you know faster turnaround. I mean, it was a test dive. It wasn't even a dive. We went down. We nope, didn't like it. Came back up. Did a little tweak and went down again. Exactly. That's what but you shouldn't even change the dive number on that. Well, any time we pull the pin, it's a dive. No, I get that. I'm just yeah, saying yeah, that it wasn't was a that productive of a dive. No, it was a test. A dive. It was a test dive. <sighs> Probably could have knocked it on the head a little earlier, but it took some 500 meters to. Well, the good news is we figured it out, and vehicle is operating within, as designed within normal parameters. I would say the vehicle is nominal. Nominal. Yeah. NASA term. Well, no, it still has a ground fault, so it ain't nominal. If Robert was here, he would never let us go off deck like that. Well, Bob at the ET could come and fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Frank even sent me a message. What's up with the ground fault? <laughs> We've got a full boat full of mechanic uh, mechanics. Did. A bunch of clankies out here. What do you expect? <laughs> Mm. 
I never replied to his message. Really happy you guys got the hydraulic issue addressed, but I'm still even happier that the ice machine is fixed. <laughs> oh, the ice machine too. is fixed. Yeah. He's Bubble been sending tea. me. Um, I might have to go make me a boba. Yeah. He sent me the the menu on the Atlantis. Just make me jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean they actually write a menu? Yeah, they have. Uh, Tolly does that as well. It looked, it looked pretty good. With buck came What's up, that? it jumps up to 250k. A menu. Oh, you're playing around with ground faults? Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that. It's worth worth poking around though, if you want. I can watch the alarms page if you want to cycle through devices. I can tell you right now that the Beacon has a ground fault. Yeah. The Mesotech mm -hmm. has a ground with, fault. With butt cam off, it jumped to 250k. The DVL has a ground fault. <laughs> 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 if you turn those three devices off. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you, serious. You That's get all I got. Fault. <laughs> you get a ground those fault. Those are all my three things. Everybody gets a ground fault. <laughs> Just turn off everything yeah. that Rennie uses. <laughs> yeah. But you can. I'm watching the alarm page, so we can verify. Last time I, I went through, yeah. All right. I just jumped up. What if the ground six. fault? Yeah. What if the ground fault reader was the ground fault? Everything with a, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> everything with an RMG or a dodgy old connector on it has, has been problematic. Yeah, you probably got to slow you. down a bit on the. Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Horrible Argus pilot. What's your uh, rate of ascent? 27. 27. Let's, let's slow down to 22 for a while. Yeah. Okay. This is a great whatever. 1972 ground fault hunt begins now. turned off several things and it jumped up to 577. Oh, you have already? Yeah. I'll just watch the alarm page and tell you when it updates. Last heard from half a minute ago. Updated. It got worse. <laughs> That's what the dop. I just put the Doppler back on and butt cam back on. If it throws two off, it jumps back up. Uh, still counting. Twenty seconds now. It's going to be a big change. Updated. What's off now? Five seventy-seven. Uh, Doppler, butt cam. I don't That's need it. to write this shit down. I know. Um, try the bezel and the uh, map beacon. The USBL? Uh, yeah, I cleaned the uh, cleaned the beacon a couple of dives ago. It's connector. We kind of need that one. Ten seconds, still counting. Update. So it's not that. Not that. So the other one is on these uh, 